Hi, I'm Sam Mankins, the homeopathic coach, and I'm standing in Madison Square Park in New York City. And I've just done a very long flight from Sydney, Australia, which is where I normally live. And I thought it would be the perfect time to share some really hot homeopathic tips for you for jet lag recovery. So what's coming now in this Video Made Easy series is a jet lag six step homeopathic recovery program. So here we go. Tip number one, have a positive jet lag recovery attitude. Now this is really important. So when you get on that plane, look at it as an opportunity to unwind and relax. When does anybody say to you, you must sit still in that comfortable chair, read a book, choose a movie, sleep, eat, think. It never happens. This is your perfect opportunity to take some time out for yourself. Tip number two, get on your new time zone immediately. So the moment you get on the plane, turn your watch forward to your new time zone, even if you're traveling for 24 plus hours, and start to behave as if that's your new time zone. And when you feel tired, the worst thing you can do is think, oh, why am I feeling tired? Oh, that's because it's 3 a.m. in Sydney. So just basically get out of that habit of working back to where you've come from and just be where you are, which is very, very important. So get in your body, sleep when you're supposed to sleep in the new time zone and eat when you're supposed to eat and just be in that time zone. So tip number three, eat and drink when you're traveling for vibrancy. This means no red meat because it's very hard to digest when you're sitting still, eating lightly, eating lots of fruit and vegetables if you can, and if you can, eat something raw and drink lots and lots of water. Now lots of people have digestive issues when they fly, and if that's you, this is a very, very important tip. And if you've tried this before and it doesn't work so well for you, I recommend that you take some slippery arm capsules on the plane and take them throughout your time of travel and the first 24 hours of your arrival. And that should ease everything. Okay, so here we have tip number four. Reset your time clock. Now when you get to your new time zone, only sleep when your new time zone demands it. Don't nap in the middle of the day because this will tell your body that you're still on your old rhythm. You have what's called a circadian rhythm, which is your wake-sleep cycle. And in taking steps to reset it, you'll get through your jet lag with a breeze. So what I want you to do is not sleep unless it's sleep time, and also go outside in the daylight without your sunglasses to maximize the amount of light hitting the back of the retina, which communicates with a little gland in your brain which helps to govern and influence your sleep-wake cycle. So follow those two tips and you'll find jet lag a breeze. So this is tip number five, get some exercise. And this is very important. If you're a gym junkie, go to the gym. If you're a runner, go for a long run. And if you're someone who doesn't exercise at all, I still want you to exercise. So go for a nice gentle walk outside in the sunshine. And this will help your body recover and it'll also send signals to your brain about being active at the right time of day. And if you have a delicate digestive system, and long haul flying, as I've mentioned before, does muck up people's systems, then exercise is an ideal way to get things moving again, which is very important. So here we have tip number six on the homeopathic jet lag recovery program. And this is a very important tip. In fact, this is the most important of all, because I want you to take homeopathic remedies, because they help you recover from jet lag like nothing else will. So if you follow the first five steps and take the remedies, you'll be feeling absolutely fantastic. Now the first remedy I'd like you to take is Arnica 30. And this helps your body recover from the stress and the strain of actually being up for longer than you should be, and all the aches and pains and sitting in confined spaces. And you need to take it every four hours. Now, I don't want you to wake yourself up if you're asleep to take the remedy, but while you're awake, take Arnica 30 every four hours. And the second remedy I'd like you to take, if you have digestive upset, is Lycopodium 30. Now, if you're a delicate kind of person as far as your digestive system goes, put this into your regime straight away and alternate it with the Arnica 30. So for example, you take Arnica 30 at nine o'clock when you're awake, and then you take your Lycopodium 30 at one o'clock, and then at five o'clock you take Arnica 30 again, and you keep that cycle going for three or four days. Now, the last remedy that you need, which will really help you reset your body clock, is Cocculus Indica. And I want you to take this in a potency of 200, so not 30 this time, it'll be 200. And you need to take this every 12 hours. So when you go to sleep and when you wake, and keep that up for three to four days. And if you take all these homeopathic remedies and follow the rest of the six steps, you will be feeling absolutely fantastic. I guarantee it. But just come a little bit closer. 
because actually as the homeopathic coach I have my own formula that I've made up as a homeopath and although it's not for sale in my shop on my website if you're interested in getting hold of my jet lag formula you just need to contact me at my website which is on screen now and I'll be happy to share it with you but I just didn't want to share it with the rest of the world okay so safe flight happy happy holidays and thank you for watching